on the motors and delta. Yep. So we only take the voltage. So voltage we can measure from here to here. But four zero three and here four zero six here four zero six. Excellent. So note those down, please. Yes. Unfortunately, we can only really measure the line current because that's where we're going to be putting the clamp tester around. We can calculate the face current though by route three if we like. So I'll get you to um, put your clamp tester around and then we'll put the power on after you've got the clamp tester in place. Thanks. Excellent. So you have to wake that up. You turn it off and on again. That's good. Okay. So when you're ready, just put the power on. Increased. Looks like the motor's still going in the same direction as before. Yeah. <laughs> we might have to address that, okay? Yep. We'll do the measurements first. It was going clockwise before or anti-clockwise? This one is really clockwise. Yeah. Looks like it's going the same way. Same. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's do the rest. So, so turn it off and do your next measurement. Did you write that one down? Yep. Okay, one, two, thank, thank you. Okay, let's do it on the next on the next line. Get yeah, onto the next line. Yep. We'll change the direction afterwards. Okay, switch it on again. Okay, notice how the current has increased with the increase of the voltage. Okay. Last one now, okay. And okay, notice the currents are pretty even, uh, so the motor's in good condition. Okay, thank you. So we'll switch off and unplug, and we'll change the direction of rotation. <coughs> 